Because yes, the next thing was we were going to go over here and change the rockets. Oh, he's just coming down now. Which one was it? This one. Ew. Bonk. Good. Put more in here and you can also demand bacteria sample. Excellent. And the other rocket, you are also going to demand bacteria sample and superfood, in fact. So we have a lot more bacteria samples being produced. And yeah, we should have done that way earlier. And the other thing we could have been producing way earlier was um, fertilizer from things as well. But if we now put algal generator there, Yep, so it's the water bottles that we're now short on. That's not surprising. But we do have a couple more collectors, so that should tick over gradually. More of those. Bring out more of them. Let's go send off some more stuff. Uh, there and there. And off you go. And then you can start filling up here. Good. How much do we need? Another 30,000. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit more of a grindy process now, I think, to get to that point. I've been going for ages, and I really wanted to be further progressed by now. I underestimated how many TT that I had available in things that I could trade. Let's grab our explosives out. Oh, we already did. Let's take some of that stuff and go and blow some stuff up let's go to that new biome that um, was mentioned between the cascades and the c note biome uh, i can probably just teleport to somewhere can i where are my teleporters i should try and remember oasis arches and obsidian okay so oasis is the closest one so i did have one in the obsidian area no i'm not sure quite what I was doing. Oh, there's another one of these over here. Alright, well I've, I've already collected enough. Um, I've already got that ending, but interesting to know that there's one right there. I bet there's one on the islands out here too, isn't there? Ooh, hello. Oh, Pulsar Quartz. Yes, please. I'll take you. That could be handy. About time I had another one of you drop by. Mm. Oh. Where's the, all the quartz? Ow. Oh, I was expecting like an explosion of pulsar quartz to all be showered up. There's one. Alright. Come on, there's gotta be more. Oh, here we go. Just thinks that I want to drink all the time. No, I don't want to drink all the time. You know what? Uh, there we go. Now it won't think that I want to drink all the time. Because <laughs> I no longer can. Why is it not letting me go underwater? Oh, it's really shallow here. That's annoying. It's just not letting me quite get close enough. Come on, silly thing. The collision of these things is super annoying. It's just because of all these silly rocks lying around the place. Come on, let me pick you up. Ah, screw it. We'll come back here anyway, because this is where we'll teleport back. It's fine. <laughs> wonder how many explosives it's going to take to get through the barrier as well. I've only got four at the moment. I've got plenty of ability to make more. I need to make more circuits though if I do. I should just pop into a wreck and deconstruct a bunch of stuff like I was at some point. And that's the other thing I can still do is I can just go back to, to other wrecks and if there's any um, stuff that I left behind. Right, now... It started to fall. There we go. Oh, it's just a giant osmium cave, it seems. With fish. Alright, well. So apparently this is new. It's just a new osmium cave, basically. 
Is there any crates in here that might have more stuff? There's more explosive things. Alright, well. It's deeper. These aluminium look really big. Oh, this is just another entrance, is it? Ah. Alright. Well that's that's annoying. Okay, I was I was hoping that that was going deeper into something more interesting. That was a waste of an explosive. Never mind. Yeah, these aluminium seem really big for some reason. Still only gives me one though. Anything under here I should know about? I mean it's nice that there's water and all in here, but is there any crates? Loot. That's all I want. I just want loot. Like, it's it's lovely that they added something new, apparently. Another small biome, they said. Yeah, well, it's certainly not huge. I do like the coral. But, what's the point of this place? Now, is that just going to be another exit? <laughs> yeah, what, what actually is the point of this place? If it's not somewhere that I can mine for pulsar quartz... <laughs> I'm kind of not interested. Um, I don't need more osmium, that's the thing, is there's already multiple places that I can get osmium from. Nope, I don't even see any crates. Oh, there's a crate over there, okay. Any more than just the one? Doesn't look like it. No golden crate. Should have added a golden crate with like a golden effigy of in the shape of osmium. Alright. Yeah. Anything? Oh, seriously? That's it? Wow. Okay. Well, this didn't feel very exciting at the end of the day. <laughs> Never mind. I was hoping for some more interesting lootables that would uh, preferably maybe give me some fuses or something. Oh, here's another crate. Some mutagen. Another circuit board, I guess. I guess that can be handy. It'll replace the explosive that I'm about to use. Because I may as well see what's behind here. Is this another, just another entrance? Or is this another special place? Oh, okay. It's a side passage from here. Okay. I mean, still mildly disappointing, but alright. Oh, did I loot you? No, oh, another circuit board. Good. Alright. Seems there was an extra crate that I hadn't found before, so that's... A, I'll take that. That's a start. Alright, otherwise, I just need to go exploring in some other wrecks, find some more circuit boards, perhaps. I could always go back to the guy's base over here as well. See if I can find that thing where he said there was like a, an area behind the control room or something. It's a case of did I leave anything behind when I looted through here earlier. Fabric's now more useful. <laughs> it's worth some tarot tokens. Yeah, it's just like early, early game stuff. That's the problem is that I, I explored here way earlier than I probably should. So then it just meant that um, it, it just doesn't feel like I got the most value out of it. Well, I can deconstruct these though, right? Oh, hello. Here we go. Okay. Oh. A tree seed. Wow. Okay. That's not that useful. It's the, yeah, osmium and sulfur asteroids that I don't really need at this point. I just really need to find more things that have more terror tokens in them. Come on. Come on. Let me pick you up. 25 terror tokens sitting right there. There we go. <laughs> Circuits are also worth 25 terror tokens as well. Um, which is why I did sell off a bunch of them early on. And probably shouldn't have, quite frankly. Uh, it's probably something I should regret, but never mind. Seemed, seemed fine at the time. There was no indication that Terra Tokens were going to be that useful at the time. 
Alright, we are 30,000 short currently. Alright, on to the next place. I should have kept my... I was too hasty in deconstructing the portal generator. I should have kept that. I think I'm going to regret that now. Arches? I'm trying to think of where the other... Pl actually, I don't, I don't think I want to take that at all, quite frankly. There was those ones near... Actually, I should probably have gone to the obsidian zone so I knew where that was and then maybe moved it. It's not too late. Let's do that. Because um, there's the explosive gated cave uh, near the volcanic zone. So obsidian. Alright. Deconstruct you. So you were on the other side of the lava lake. So you were for me to gather obsidian if I wanted more obsidian. But I didn't really end up needing that much more. I guess it was for machine optimizers if I wanted more of those. Alright, let's see what I can find in other caves. Now, where were these caves? Here we go. Cool. Now, let's just plop the teleporter down here. It'll be the only one that doesn't have a name. I'm glad I have more explosives. Okay, well it is another wreck, it's not just a cave. So that's a start. Let's see what's in here then. I do have some fusion stuff on me. Eh, yeah, none of that's particularly useful. Rocket engine I can trade. Um, are you a door that's going to open later? Rocket, good. Teratone, 500 TT. That's not bad. We'll take that. And the rocket engine. Small crates. I was expecting these to be big. There's more circuits that I can grab if I want as well. I really want to find some like 5k TT token chips. We can hope. Ah, fusion. Okay. That's cool. We'll set you going. And hope that you're worth the 80 TT investment. But now the doors are open at least. Um, where the hell am I going? Some rocket engines, circuit boards. It's anything like that is useful. I wish there were more circuit boards around. 1000 TT. Ooh, good. 5000 production multiplier. And a pulsar quartz. Good. This is starting to pay off. So if I get a bunch of tradables like that, then that will help to expedite our exit. Ah, and there's a safe over here. Nope. Some sort of control room. Interesting. Now, this is all well and good, but... Oh, it's another one of these sorts of places. I've had this in one of the other wrecks. It's like teleporter room with a fusion generator in the middle. Ah, there we go. 5,000. Nice. So 5,600 total. That's more like it. Excellent. I still need more, but we're at 229,000 now, so that certainly helps to address our deficit. Oh, another 6,000. There we go. And once again, it's a case of why would I bother really engaging in the trade mechanic when I can just go into Rex and get a ton of free stuff? I just needed to explore more earlier before kicking off this ending. And uh, then I wouldn't have to have worried. I could have just had even more tier tokens. So many access cards, and I haven't found a door yet that uses them. I, I'm hoping that there is one. Unless I get enough tier tokens that I don't need to care. <laughs> Let's put the, those in there. Another crate. Oh, here we go. 600, 1100, 2100. Alright, another couple of circuit boards as well. And a bacteria sample. Literally the only thing that we are picking up anymore is stuff that uh, is worth trading. Explosive corridor. Alright. Oh, this just loops around though, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, that's just a bait. <laughs> Oh, safe. Good. 500, 500, so it's another 1,000. That's good. 
It all helps. We're up to 239,000 now, so we're almost, almost there. Does it have to be such a bloody labyrinth? Oh, access card door. Excellent. And another 1,000 TT. Alright. Well, I don't mind that it's a labyrinth now. Two access cards. Hey, we got two access cards. Jackpot. 100 TT. Blueprint that I don't care about. Uh, I was so hopeful. And that's what it had given me. Oh, here we go. 500. 5,000. 5,500. Nice. And some more credits. And some more. Yep. Good. We're at 20. 24600 now. Almost there. Uh, let's drink. I'll drink to that. <laughs> okay, so we found the access door. Oh, good. Another one here. Another hundred. And another fuse. There we go. So once we send the fuses off, we have enough stuff now. And our rockets just got back. Right. Now we just need to get out of here. <laughs> oh, even more. 500. Yeah, this is definitely... Oh, and another fuse. Okay. This is definitely a sign that I should have come here first. So, word to the wise. Explore the planet fully first. Before even indulging in the portals. Because it gives similar sorts of stuff. And you might just get all that you need to rest early without having to resort to expending other things. Do you go somewhere useful? Maybe. You don't just loop around, seemingly, so we'll use our last explosive. If we had all of our tokens, I could literally just death warp as well. Can't deconstruct these for some reason. Oh, well, that was a waste. I'm glad I didn't need that explosive for anything else, because that was a waste. Guess I go this way then. Food low. I do have food at least. Oh, this just loops around here. Alright, and then there's a way up here. This feels like the way that I came in. Oh, in in fact it is literally the way that I came in. Okay. Cool. We're done. We are done here both in this wreck and on this planet home well we don't have the tokens yet that's the annoying thing is we didn't get enough uh credit tokens raw to be able to blast off but uh we that's now worth like twenty thousand or something <laughs> cool was there anywhere else that I was missing to explore still? I honestly can't remember. Was there anywhere that we hadn't been yet? So I think if I was to start over, do another save at some point, I think the best place to put a base would actually be over the water. Because then you just don't need to worry so much about being grown out by trees or anything. You can just expand over the lake. This is actually quite a central spot here as well because there is an osmium cave just up the top uh, and the zeolite is just through from there so you can just kind of keep going um, and once you zoom in <laughs> there's also aluminium you can actually mine for aluminium which i never ended up doing but i think if i would tunneled more into the resource extractors once i got the tier twos i needed to just ramp into that and first put down tier two in the osmium cave then put down tier two in like uh iridium uranium aluminium just all over the show just to and super alloy as well just so i had a steady stream of that stuff problem is that you then have to get your drones up and running a lot earlier uh, which again I could have leant into a lot more just to sort out inventory more than anything else D not even to help with automation so much just to sort out inventory because <laughs> you could literally have a, a container that you just dump everything into at the the opening of your base you just go in the main door dump everything into a tier 2 locker or something or just tier 1 locker dump everything into that and have it supply literally everything 
and certain lockers that demanded certain resources so you knew that it would just go and be distributed and you'd save a lot of time doing that is there anywhere else that i've forgotten that's that's the thing did i go through the, there was this other base over here that i think i exhausted but i'm not sure I don't know whether or not there was another like fusion reactor in this wreck that I didn't go to, but I think I went everywhere. This was an early one that I cracked open, and then I left to come back after I got unlimited oxygen. Oh, pulsar! I, I think I never looted this container. That's weird. Oh, I can get some more circuits. Why not? Some teleporters. There's an explosive thing, but that's a bait. Did I get everywhere in here? No, I haven't even been everywhere in here yet. There's an access card. Not that that matters. Seems I didn't come this way. Did I open it up? Realize that I should wait and come back when I had unlimited oxygen or something and then came back found the fusion reactor and didn't have a fusion thing more access cards there's no other boxes around though so I feel I've cleared out a bunch in here okay that's definitely a door that opens for a safe though seems that I didn't need to worry about trading after all or maybe didn't need to yeah I'm sure I went through this more. Oh, there's another 100 tier tokens right there. I guess I didn't. I was sure I'd finished this wreck. Where's the fusion core? Because yeah, I'm sure I remember the plant thing down there. Unless I have been like some because oh, I would have cleared this out. Oh, this is different. It's like a testing thing almost. Oh, there's some more terra tokens. Do I just have enough yet? Almost. So close. I probably will by the time I'm finished here. Yeah, that's definitely another like a safe room. Not a place you go to get away from tornadoes, but... 500... Why am I still picking things up? There we go, I'm done. I have the, the TT that I need now. I am just done. Which means I now just have to get out of here. <laughs> Easy said than done. Um, but I also feel that I should actually explore this a little bit more, so that I know for in future. I thought I'd cleared this place. Because I came here early, like, a, the the way was open, I used the explosives, but I guess I never found the fusion generator, actually, even, even just now, I haven't found the fusion generator. I would kind of like to know where it is for, like, future playthroughs. This place looks different. I haven't been to that particular room here we go found it i won't remember where the hell it is and how i got here but i did find it <laughs> nope another corridor i haven't been to yet and another safe so many more things wow yeah we are way over what we need now oh, and an access card door too even more Pulsar Quartz, more Terra Tokens, another big fuse. I really should have come back here a lot earlier. Wow. I, yeah, I could have sworn that I had. Guess not. No, oh, that was a useless room. There we go, 16,000 more. Oh, we're back here again. Okay, so that door didn't open. Did this one open? Nope, these doors. Okay, they looked like there would be doors that opened, but they were not. Alright, we really should have revisited that a lot long ago. <laughs> I really... I 
honestly thought I had already cleared that one because I remember opening it so much earlier, but I guess I'm just thinking of the ones further north instead, and I never got around to going back to that one. So that was a mistake. <laughs> never mind. We now have enough to trigger the smuggler's ending. Leave the planet, place your hands in the fate in the hands of space smugglers. So that, that now presents as an option. And we've got a bunch of other stuff on us as well. Sure. Third ending. Done. Right, and we have 100 percent of the game now. Because <laughs> the last uh, one I needed was the complete terraformation. And the leaving the planet with smugglers is understandably the rarest achievement in the game. Cool looking ship though. My friend, I hope we can meet again one day. Despite everything you've been through, your future is still uncertain. You will now be considered an outlaw, so you will need to be careful and keep a low profile. <laughs> the Warden Key pedestal's showing up slightly because we have the detector on us. And pre presumably it's the character that gets put in these places. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll get through this. Good luck. Riley. And there's the big smuggler ship. It's come to pick us up and take us away. I mean, you know, Sentinel Core get their planet. So And it still keeps the save, so you can go you can always go back and uh just explore further and pick up on anything that you might have missed. Which for me, knowing me, is probably quite a lot, because it turns out that there I hadn't even gone through a wreck that I had discovered way earlier and thought that I had so I don't know what was going on there in my brain. <laughs> it seems that I forgot a lot. Never mind. Um, we'll keep the save for posterity. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series. Uh, that is Planet Crafter from start to finish, casual playthrough. I do want to do then a hardcore run. As you can see, I've done a little bit of a practice on it. I'm surprised I even got that far. It's almost at the 175, the blue sky on that. Um, but that's uh, tough going. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to delete that and start again. <laughs>